Hello everybody. Welcome to Sermon on the Go with Reverend Kinsley. Today I'm going to talk about the making of Joseph. The making of Joseph. Joseph is a young man we meet in the book of Genesis chapters 37 through to chapter 50. God can make anyone great. He is ever ready and willing to accomplish his purpose concerning you. He is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God hates average, that he made no provision for average in his word. He said in his word, you shall be above only, so there is no option for average. Therefore, every child of God is supposed to be at the top in their field of endeavor. The student, top. The lawyer, top. The preacher, top. No child of God is permitted to be average. That's why you are not permitted to envy anyone if you know your place in destiny. Remember that Joseph was sold into slavery. How did Joseph become so successful? A prime minister where he was sold into slavery. With all the setback, how did he manage to become so successful in life? I will mention three things that enabled Joseph to become successful. The first is that Joseph was a dreamer and dreamers ruled the world. In Genesis chapter 37, verses 7, we read, Then my sheaf arose and stood upright. And indeed, your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to my sheaf. He said, I saw all of you bow down before me. That is how dreamers talk. What is a dream? A dream is a mental picture from the scriptures of the future you want for your life. Without dreams, you place limits on what God can do for you. Many of us fast and pray, but we don't dream. The second thing that made Joseph successful was that he was a man of wisdom. And Pharaoh said to his servants, can we find such a one as this, a man in whom is the Spirit of God. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, there is no one as discerning and wise as you. All of my people shall be ruled according to your word. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Joseph did not take over only with a dream. Wisdom was a major factor. You can have a dream, but if you are not wise, you are going to use your imprudence to destroy that dream. Wisdom is a principal necessity in running the race of life. The Bible says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. By me, kings reign and rulers decree justice. Wisdom is the right application of knowledge. Therefore, pursue wisdom, receive wisdom, and retain wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. School alone cannot make you wise, because what you know, other people know as well. You need the wisdom of God to get ahead of your peers. Wisdom will make you creative and creativity is beyond intellectualism. Whereas intellectualism is drawn from stored information from the brain, creativity connects with the Holy Spirit that affects the mind to effect change on the earth. Intellectual capacity is when you read and you know what you have read and go for an exams. But creativity is what comes from the Spirit of God. And that is what Joseph had. 
The third and final attribute that made Joseph successful was that he was a man of character and his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight and he served him. And he made him overseer over his house and all that he had, he put into his hand. Potiphar put everything under the care of Joseph. The world is looking for men of integrity. The strongest force for lasting achievement in any field of endeavor is not position. It is not power. It is not influence nor talent. It is not intellectual capacity nor academic powers. It is not charisma nor management skills. It is character. Therefore, cultivate character before you get to the top. There is no substitute for character. An ungodly lifestyle characterized by dishonesty, sexual perversion, corruption and disorder can kill any dream. A reputation of many years can be destroyed by a wrong conduct. Therefore, character is imperative if you want to last long in your field of endeavor. And if you want to build your character, then you need to watch what you are thinking because our thoughts brings imagination. Imagination will lead to action. Actions will lead to habits and habits will lead to character. Before you do anything good or bad, it starts with a thought. That thought will form an image. That image will go into an action. The action will form a habit and we are a product of our habits. And you cannot stop any bad habits until you put a stop to those negative thought processes. Equally, you cannot develop any good habit until you develop your thinking pattern. All you need to do is to have values because this world is looking for men of values. Joseph became successful in his career because of these three things. He was a dreamer and he had wisdom and character. Therefore, may I encourage you to emulate Joseph. Have a dream, seek wisdom, and build your character. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we've had together. And we thank you for teaching us about your servant, Joseph. We pray that the things we have heard about Joseph, we will use them in our lives. Help us to have a dream. Help us to seek wisdom from your scriptures. And help us to build our character for the greater good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to subscribe and share this video. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>